I'm trying to shut the vlog. And Sarah's hair is messed up. I'm she's in a dark room. She's running away. All right, I'll let her fix herself with her hair. I and, just and then we'll start the vlog. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. Did you guys enjoy not having a vlog yesterday? Someone accidentally deleted the wrong. So my routine in the morning is like I switch out. We work on two memory cards, one always in editing, one in the camera. And I took them out, switched them, even checked to see. But I've been wearing the same shirt, so I think that's why I got that messed up. And I deleted all of the footage, and we really tried to get it back. Right. I tried it for like, a while today. I could have gotten it for $70. And we went to studios. It was empty. I went on Tower of Terror. We went on Mickey Minis. We filmed the Mickey Minis that time. We showed a delicious meal. At least we have leftovers. Yes. But today, it ha you don't it, get it a, a theme park in like three years. Oh, yeah. You, we've been doing good. <laughs> um, but now you get a home vlog. <laughs> So for dinner, we have a sweet salad, greens, tomatoes, cucumbers. Peter made it with um, like agave nectar and lime juice, and I added some craisins in today. And this is like a Polynesian soy sauce veggie bake. That's pineapple, peppers, and onions. And then I'll link below this recipe. It was the veggies and a black bean sauce. Eve clearly wants them. So I'm really excited to show you this recipe. I think I could probably find a link for it. I just kind of whipped it together, but it's cashews, nutritional yeast, and garlic powder and salt to kind of make a like Parmesan cheese tasting, I don't know, sprinkle topper. Um, but it's really, really yummy. And so I put it on top of the bean mixture. I'm trying to get Eve used to. The rocky rocky noise. Swing. Check it out. What do you think, Evie? She's uncertain. I definitely shouldn't try to put her in there because I did that last time and she got very scared. She wants my sucker. <laughs> Peter, featuring Peter singing. Um, Andrew McMahon is live on Instagram. He is releasing a new song tomorrow and I've actually had a really bad headache today and so we're gonna go sit in our dark room and listen to Andrew. All right, I think we're doing a thing. I think we're truly doing a thing. I just sent an email to the one tattoo artist to see about availability and pricing, but I think we're doing a thing. So it's been hours. We hung out in our room watching or listening and watching Andrew McMahon. Apparently I already know Jamie's first favorite artiste and it's Andrew McMahon because I was trying to like high five James. My hand was on Sarah's belly and Andrew McMahon played a new song that's coming out tonight at midnight. Tonight. Oh. I think it's coming out, I think he's dropping it like at midnight. He was like, enjoy it tonight. Mm. Um, well, tomorrow, when you're watching this, <laughs> it, this, the new song's out. And so he played it for us live on Instagram when he was done. We were all like, ooh, yeah. And all of a sudden, I felt like what was like a roundhouse kick to my hand. Like, so strong. The most strong I've ever felt him. Yeah. So that was cool. <laughs> yeah. I thought that you like bopped me. Like, there was like so much movement that it was like, I wasn't sure. Like, did you feel that? What? What just happened? And then we got to talking, and then we were talking about my Chicago tattoo on my forearm, but the other arm. And then we got to looking at this place on Mills Avenue in Winter Park, and then we emailed a tattoo artist. Yeah. So hopefully he comes back and now, with short-term availability and pricing. And now we're going to do a trick <laughs> that Christina, my sister, sent me on TikTok to help my headache. That's why I have my hair down now is because like, I just can't have it up. It's just too... We've both been rocking the headache all day, but hers is yeah. more like a migraine. Yeah, and so I did a like, I did, <laughs> I did a bunch of like pressure point things that seem to help more in here, and but like my head still hurts. So I'm about to put a glass of water on my head. <laughs> Here's the contraption. You put a towel. I wonder if you weren't supposed to double fold it like that. But on that, your head. That's how you keep the water from getting on your head. Oh, I like. I'm See, the, so the water is here. Yeah. There's just like pressure. I'm just, sure my head's gonna be wet. Yeah, and I just don't see this ending without you getting soaked. How did I do this without getting soaked in the first place? I, I'm not sure I wasn't looking. <laughs> you just kind of got eager. You want to sit on the couch and wait? Sure. Yeah. Um, second attempt. How Added does it more feel? Water. 
just feels it's like a, there's... Feels like there's a rag and a cup of water on your head. <laughs> Look at them belts, Oh, gosh. Also... My head wasn't that wet. She is very concerned right now about what's going on. Yeah, she has to sit right up next to me. <laughs> I don't know. If you know I feel any... like it's about pressure. I feel like we ask about migraine relief all the time. So your hand's on the cup, and it's about pressure, so if you I don't just, know if my hand's supposed to be on the cup. So if you just took an empty cup and put it on your hand with your hand, wouldn't that be the same pressure? No, it's about the water. Huh. Water pressure. Did you hear that? Yeah, because I saw the bubbles because <laughs> it said it's seeping through. <laughs> Alright, this is what we've settled on. I'm impatiently waiting for the email back from the tattoo artist. But we're about to watch Adam's family. Also, Sarah gave up on the water trick on her head. So we're probably gonna find a snack. I'm gonna go for some salty banana pepper. Ooh, I'll get them for you. Before the movie starts, I had to show you this is what I did to Winnie the Pooh earlier. Just getting accustomed to things. Also, Petrus's might take this table. Have to re-ask them if they want it. And I got a new book. I gotta enjoy a movie first with my two girls. If I could zoom in with this lens, I would. <laughs> on Eve's adorable face. All right, everybody, I know I look like I need to shave. I was supposed to shave today. I planned on shaving today. Never happened. My day got behind me. So we're gonna play, instead of two truths, one lie, we're gonna say two negatives and one positive. We're gonna start off with a positive. Adam's family is really good. Good brought me back to some of my Adams Family growing up vibes. So that was awesome. And the two negatives were that um, internet kicked out. It's 12.30 in the morning. Internet kicked out like 15 minutes ago. And why do you think, why, Peter, does that matter if internet is out at 12.15? I run a database update overnight for my work. And it takes like four hours to run. So... It's not just a fluke. I pulled up the Spectrum app and it, it immediately told me right when I logged into the, the app that there's an outage in their area. I requested them to call me when it's back up. I think I'm going to have to set my alarm for like 3 in the morning and hopefully it's, it's back up and I can restart that process and be done by 7 in the morning. If not, I'm going to have to like keep checking back or I don't know. It's be a little intense to hotspot in for my cell phone. Um, but that's a bummer. And another bummer is one of the main protesting organizers that when I was going to those protests more regularly and they were happening more regularly in Orlando was arrested Monday with six other people and they released everybody on bail on Monday but this organizer was not released so I didn't know any of this was going on because of the vacation into hectic back to work week um, so I'm going to try to get some more information about that tomorrow. I think I saw that there might be a protest tomorrow in regards to him still being held without bail, I think. I have to, it's all new, but it doesn't look too hot, too good, um, and I do have to work tomorrow. So, I just will have to, but that's a really big bummer. He's, he was one of, he, he's one of kind of, he's the kind of organizer that teaches a lot. Like, the one day Sarah came out with me when it was rainy and it wasn't a big crowd and they weren't marching, it was him with a microphone teaching us the history of racism in America, past and unfortunately present. Um, and so he's a great resource because he is an advocate and he's part of these advocacy groups even prior to the murder of George Floyd and everybody else. So he's a huge, huge, he's just an important person in the community. So I will hopefully have an update in tomorrow's vlog about that after I reach out to some of the people that I was uh, marching with more regularly last month, but fingers crossed that that's not, you know, nothing's too serious there, but I'm going to sign off because Sarah fell asleep and so did Eve, and I guess set an alarm for three hours from now to check the internet. All right, today is July 30th. Two more days left in July, and one more day, actually. Today's message is by the Dalai Lama. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back, and a reason to stay. Ooh, coming from a family that has moved away from family and has made new family and has made new friends across the world, I love that statement. All three of those statements are very important and very true. This is my boy James. He was a little puny guy 
and these photos, and I think this week is an ultrasound. Next week is an ultrasound. Either way, you give me an awesome high five. The biggest like motion I've ever felt him in. So that was amazing. And during Andrew Mc Andrew McMahon song, so it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>